For number 10, we are going to solve this equation. We have x minus 3 over 5x is equal to 12. We see that we have this fraction, 3 over 5 in this equation, and I think this is going to give us some trouble, isn't it? So let's go over what we should do in this situation. Let me make a note for you guys on the side. Whenever we have fractions in an equation, what we are going to do is we will multiply every term by its lowest common denominator, namely the LCD. In our case, we only have one fraction, namely the 3 over 5, and the 5 is the only denominator. Therefore, we are just going to multiply the LCD, which is just the 5. So let's take a look of this equation again and multiply every term by 5. For the first term, we have x, so let's multiply by 5. And then the second term we have is 3 over 5 times x, so I'm going to multiply that by 5 as well, and do the same for the 12. So I'll put down 5 times 12 like this, and then we'll just continue from here. And after we do this, we will not have fractions anymore. Let's see. Here we have 5 times x, namely that's just 5x, no problem on that. And then for the second term, what do we get when we do 5 times 3 over 5? Well, this 5 is like 5 over 1, so that this 5 in red will cancel with this 5 in black. Therefore, we will just get minus 3 times x. That's just 3x. That's it. And then we will just write it down as this is equal to 5 times 12, and that's 60. That's it. An equation with no fraction, as you can see. And then we'll just continue with the usual way. Here we have the 5x minus 3x. We can combine these two terms right away. 5x minus 3x, that's 2x. And then this is equal to 60. And for this equation, what we're talking about is 2 times x is equal to 60. And to get x by itself, we will just divide both sides by 2. So that this 2 and that 2 will cancel each other out. And we will have x equals to 60 divided by 2, we get 30 for the answer. Therefore, the answer is choice E, 30. That's it.